So laydowns and shallow brush are an excellent hangout for bass in the winter time. They provide excellent pieces of cover and they're easy for anglers to pinpoint. But there's a lot more to these structure pieces than what meets the eye. Shallow wood, specifically lay down, stumps, brush, it's all going to hold fish year round. But when it really pays off is in the winter time when fish can be hard to pinpoint. That's a fish. There he is. Oh man, back in the brush. Here he comes. Swing him on in. Alright, see you dude. This is the bait we're throwing today. It's a little four inch swimming dinger. Perfect for a little finesse presentation like what we're doing around this brush. Got a real sleek profile for swimming in and out of these branches and keeping that bait weedless. Hey. Anytime fish have low visibility like this, they're gonna cling to the closest piece of cover they can find. And a lot of times, that cover that's going to make them feel the most safe is any type of shallow brush or lay down like what we're targeting. The swimming dinger comes in a four inch version and a five inch version. I like throwing the four inch better because it's got a little bit smaller of a tail. And so that tail is going to kick back and forth just a little bit tighter, which is kind of what you want when it's real cold like this and these fish are real finicky. They're not going to look for something real crazy or erratic. What I'm rigging this on is just an eighth ounce shaky head weight. Texas rigging, of course, and that eighth ounce, it's about the perfect weight to allow that tail to really work its magic down there. It's not going to fall too fast or too slow. Now, if you're bank fishing like me and you don't have any fancy electronics or down scan to locate this structure, your best tool you're going to be able to use is your eyes. Yep. 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 Here, compadre. So fish are already going to be lethargic in the winter time, which means they're not going to want to move very much to actually eat their food. If they're already sucked up into those laydowns, which is where they're at, if you drop that swimming dinger right in front of their face, that's basically dropping a meal right in front of them. So it's hard for them to pass up. Okay. One of the things that makes laydowns so great is the fact that they extend out from shallow to deep. Fish will congregate there and feel safe because it doesn't take much effort for them to move up in the water column or back down. So hitting it from a lot of different angles allows you to make a lot of different presentations to a lot of fish. Oh gosh, you took me down in there. We got him though. Man, it's important to have your drag set tight when you're fishing around this brush. Otherwise, those fish are going to take you right into that brush and probably get you hung up. Now, generally, laydowns are going to be right up next to the bank. So when you're bank fishing these, you're not going to want to stand right next to them. In order to make kind of a sneaky presentation on them, I would suggest standing maybe 10, 15 feet back from that laydown and back from the bank in order to not scare those fish away. A lot of times, if you actually cast into that laydown, the suspending fish in the laydown won't actually wait till that bait hits the bottom. They'll just pick it up on the fall. So be ready. Swimming dinger is just one of those baits you can throw it on either a spinning setup or a bait caster setup. I kind of like the spinning setup a little bit better. It's just personal preference, but I've got it on a seven foot medium action rod. It's important to have a soft tip on your rod because in the winter time, those fish aren't gonna hit that bait super hard. And so you're gonna wanna be able to detect every little subtle bite you're gonna get. I'm throwing this swimming dinger on eight pound, 100% fluorocarbon. It's a perfect balance between strength and visibility, and it's also abrasion resistant too, which I really like. Now, if you're fishing an isolated piece of wood, make sure to make several casts towards that. Bass are very territorial, and we'll really hone in on that piece of cover if there's not a lot of wood in the lake. If you're fishing a pond or anywhere that's just loaded with stumps and cover and brush, lay down, those big bass are going to be uptight where the thickest cover is. Okay. 
Honestly, there's not a bad lay down or shallow piece of cover to fish. So go out to your local lake or pond and find the best looking piece of cover and start picking it apart. <laughs>